I'm going I'm to hit the brothers up to some boss game. Don't ever ask no woman for no If you got to ask her for it, it's not yours. Of course. Be the kind of man that shows up in her experience to the capacity that she wants you to have it. She'll, she'll offer it to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's... Be the type of man that shows up in her experience that you don't have to ask her for it. She wants you to have it. Bro, that's the realest shit I've heard on the internet in a long time. And it's so true. It is so true. Mm. Mm. You gotta ask a woman for some she don't wanna fuck you. She don't. Like, y'all first sexual encounter especially. Don't ask. Let her offer it to you. She don't fuck you differently. The that you get when you ask for it versus the that you get when it's offered to you. That's two different kind of right? That's 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 two different types of But y'all gonna keep begging though. I'm gonna I'm hit the brother. Yo, that's that's real. Let us normalize those gates automatically opening for us. Now, I, I'm saying let's normalize it because I feel as though everything we hear now on the news of people accusing people of this and accusing people of that is because dudes was asking for it. It was given to them. It may have been given to them reluctantly. And then People start having regrets. The worst thing you want is after you and a young lady become intimate, she start having regrets. Because then you're going to end up in a situation where it's her word against yours. But I get it. I got a deep voice for a woman and I'm tomboyish as hell. I understand. But don't just assume I'm gay. <laughs> get me wrong that studs y'all look good more power to you but i ain't never seen no fine ass stud and thought mm, want to eat her moochie pie moochie <laughs> <laughs> mm, wally for breakfast Ugh, what no no but i get it bro what the hell is a moochie pie bro <laughs> uchi wally for breakfast This goes along the lines of like, I don't particularly like women that wear a lot of makeup. Now I'm I'm happy I'm married, okay? Because I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. Some of y'all be wearing so much makeup, you look like you might be a citizen of uh, Cybertron. Like, <laughs> if you know what Cybertron is, you know what I'm getting at. I'm I'm not a big fan of women that wear a lot of makeup. To be honest with you, I feel as though some of y'all are so beautiful you don't need makeup. Uh, I don't want to get married, so I don't know. Why you don't want to get married? Because I don't, I don't want to commit to no one. You just don't want to commit? Yeah. I but do, do you want a, do you want a man though? No. How about you? No. So what's your type? A sneaky link. Huh? A sneaky link. Somebody I could just call. Oh, so you just want? How many you want? Like just one? One. Yeah, just one. How about you? Yeah, just one. one. What's your type? Like, if you had, like, a, a a type for a sneaky link, what would it be? Six foot plus, yeah. Wait, say that again? <sighs> Y'all gonna stop with, with the under six foot slander. Okay? I'm sorry, I'm projecting. I just... Shout out to all my under six foot kings, man. You feel what I'm saying? Shout, shout out to all my under six foot kings, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here. We we, we are a dying breed. We are a dying breed. I'm going to tell y'all ladies something right now. Get you a short king, baby. Get you a short king, baby. Turn your ass out. We got a lot to prove.
turn your ass out. Can't stand these six foot niggas, bro. You know what be bothering me when when be like five foot one, four foot nothing, and be oh yeah, uh, I want me a, a, a man that's six foot seven. Why? So he could look like like a pedophile next to you, huh? Dark skin, chocolate with dreads, pretty teeth, six foot up. You gotta be a tall. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, I don't want to get married, so I don't know. Why? With all the short men slander, um, I I can't disagree with her. If she knows she's for the streets, she's for the streets. Now, I, honestly, bro, not wanting to get married does not necessarily mean you for the streets, to be quite honest with you. It's because it's a lot of you niggas out here that be talking about, I want a chick that's going to be loyal. I want a chick that's going to do this, do that. But to be quite honest with you, you don't deserve that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going I'm to be honest. I'm, some of y'all may not know what I'm about to say, but it's the truth. It's a lot of dudes out here, they hate the women demographic because they say the women ain't shit, the women ain't traditional. But to be quite honest with you, if you got a woman like that, now this don't go for all the dudes, but it's go for a lot of y'all. If you got a woman like that, you would not know what to do with her. In fact, you would take advantage. This is real. You got a chick that don't argue, don't, don't bother you. I mean, we all want peace, so we don't want a bitch that be arguing. But you get a chick that comes home, cleans, cooks, run your bath water, doesn't bother you, everything you're asking for. And some of you will still cheat. Tell me now. God damn, she Tell snatched the hell out that wig. Uh -huh. You didn't even let me know before I had to make all these plans. Uh, there's no time to Hello? Hey, you still got my audio on your room? Like a, a locking? Nah. It's in the backseat. It's in, it's in the back of the car. Oh. Oh, so, like when I need to go, because that's what I'm saying. I can bring it in. It's just, we, 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 I'm going to put it downstairs. No, we can put it in the cabinet in the kitchen. Well, I, I don't know how big it is. It's big. Like, it's 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 a big bottle of oil. Well, we used to keep the water in that cabinet um, underneath the everything drawer. Would it fit? I don't know if it'll fit. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. I'm about to turn this account button down and get taken. All right. Be calling me for nothing, dog. I swear she be calling me for nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, she literally said if I look at this trash can, she bet her life on it. They ain't here. You like you was crazy. What is your problem? Bro, if I find a truck, start packing if I if I find some clothes in here, I swear to God. Yo, bro, you what? what is wrong with you? You was crazy. There's no condoms in there. If you gotta go through all of that, the relationship is over. Bro, if you dumping all this trash out, why is you doing all that? Bro, bro that don't even make no sense. You that bitch just turned into rock the trash man. Look at just crazy. Ladies, ladies, if you got to come home and look through the trash to see if your man was getting his meat wet, ain't no point in being in a relationship. Once trust is gone, the relationship is gone. I, I sound like Dr. Phil. <laughs> I sound like Dr. Phil, but it's the truth. If you got to come through, if you got to come in your house and turn into the trash man to see if your, first off, if your is that stupid, that he got some extra pussy on the side and he put the condom in the trash can? Come on, sis. Come on now. 